32. And I got capacitor. So this is meaning of life. Before I will start with Raspberry Pi and supercapacitors, are you one of those five? You are not interested how to make capacitor, but you are interested in the meaning of life. Then you can skip to this timestamp. Quick recap from my previous video. I bought all good power bank PCBs on AliExpress, selected the best, and built power bank in hope to use it as UPS for Raspberry Pi. Nice. But there is fatal flaw. When you plug in or plug out power cable from power bank, computer is losing power for several seconds. In my next video, supercapacitors, Raspberry Pi, power bank, and the meaning of life. The goal for this video is to fix power bank fatal flaw with supercapacitors, but I'm not planning to use supercapacitors inside power bank. My plan is to use supercapacitor with Raspberry Pi. Knowledge moment. A capacitor is a device that stores electrical energy. The same supercapacitor does. Batteries do the same, but capacitors store power in electrostatic field. While batteries use chemical reaction to store and later release power. No chemical reaction, no degradation over time like with batteries. To demonstrate how capacitor works is to build it. To build a capacitor I need toilet paper, aluminum foil, blueberry jam, acrylic glass pieces, bottom will be negative, and top will be positive. This is capacitor. Does it look like capacitor sign if I hold like this? Okay, this is very disappointing number. But if I will press very hard, I can double this number. Because pieces are much closer. I have food plastic here, it is thinner. Wow! And let's press. Okay, okay, okay! Six! Ooh. Good job! And let's make big capacitor. First layer is ready, now it will be layer number two. Now I have very large capacitor. I will use this PVC pipe to roll around. It does not really go well. It's because outer layer is becoming shorter and inner layer is longer. I got a lot of air between layers. So my plan is to squeeze it. Oh no. If it will be any hole between layers, I will lose capacitor. Let's use 12 volt. Should be charged. Main question is how does it taste? Okay, I feel it. Let's go maximum. 32 volts. Yeah. Voltage. Hey, it's dropping, dropping, dropping. So it's uh, maybe it was 32. So my plan is to roll it. Uh, does it mean I have break? Yes. This is capacitor. This is not a capacitor. And this is how you build and destroy capacitor. I found one interesting thing. You see this 16 on this capacitor, 25 volts on this capacitor. This is rated maximum voltage what is allowed to use with this capacitor. But we can make test on this 16 volts capacitor. Okay, and I have this glass, my protection glasses. 32. Okay, that was fast. Ooh. Oh, this looks like a paper. 
undestroyed part of the capacitor. And I destroyed cable on my multimeter. I need to repair it. What is the difference between these capacitors and uh, super capacitors? 2.7 volts. There is one more difference. Normal capacitor is charging fast and discharging fast. Super capacitor is charging slow and discharging slow. To fully charge this 15 farad supercapacitor, it took two minutes. However, only first minute was really productive. I got different supercapacitors here, 5, 10, 15 and 20 farad. And this is how to make 5.5 volt capacitor from two 2.7 volt capacitors. After joining supercapacitors in series, I'm sacrificing capacitance. So I will have 2.5 farad, 5 farad, 10 farad, and without changes, 15 farad capacitor. On Raspberry Pi, supercapacitors can be connected to these pins. How long these supercapacitors can hold Raspberry Pi? with stress ng application to make maximum load. And of course it does not work as expected. And to enter voltage I will connect multimeter here and multimeter on this side and this very small number. I'm connecting power. I can slowly charge these capacitors by pressing button on power bank. But I can make it faster with external power. While it's charging, I can press button. It's starting to blink here. And now it's growing very fast and soon Raspberry Pi will start. Yes, it's starting now. This idea with supercapacitor works. I was not expecting that supercapacitors are so greedy and they consume all power until they charge. I also was not expecting that power bank PCBs will charge supercapacitors for a very short time and I will need to press button multiple times but that is not an issue if supercapacitor is charged and always connected to the power bank. And now the second part of the video. Let's go outside. This part of the video for those five who was interested in the meaning of life. Was you expecting joke about 42? Or you want to have dictionary definition? When I'm talking about meaning of life, I mean purpose, why we exist. But before answering on this question, we need to understand where this question is coming from. Society has trained us to search for cause and effect. Why we need to go to school? Why we need to find job? But after completing some of these goals, you understand that they are fake. Congratulations, your brain developed enough and you got existential crisis. Now you have two options to become more clever or suffer. Imagine you're on another planet with another species and you found machines that just changing colors and you cannot understand what is the purpose of this machine. But by functionality, we have such devices on our planet. It's called traffic light. And if I will list everything what traffic light does with cars and roads together, I can find that meaning of existence for this traffic light to control movements on the road. But this is the meaning for Department of Transportation, not for traffic light itself. Can we apply this example on humans? Maybe. So there are two options, meaning for you or for someone else. You can go and ask your creators. Your technical creators are your parents. Do you want to get answer from higher level, from engineers behind humanity, from main architect? Do you want to get answer from evolution, the great randomizer? 
Why humans were engineered with lifetime limit? Why our cells are programmed to stop dividing? Why we have all these functions? Why you created me? But doesn't matter what answer you will get, that was their purpose, goals and meaning to your life. Do you want to do what your creators? Or do you want to do what society wants from you? So question is not what is the meaning of my life. Question is what I want to do with my life. You can create meaning for yourself and others. You can make any meaning valid if you will emotionally invest in it. You don't like meaning of life from your parents and you don't want to create your own meaning. You can borrow someone else's meaning of life. Do you want answer in one sentence? The meaning of life is your goals. Set your goals and you will have meaning. What a pathetic answer. Bye.